Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 62. It is, what is today? Today is Tuesday, the 18th of November. It's actually in the evening. It's like, it's almost 6 o'clock. It's like 10 till 6, so it's dark outside here. Um, my Christmas tree is right there. <laughs> we got it put up. It does have ornaments on it. They're just way up high because Jesse still messes with them. We had them down normal, you know, like normal people do, but Jesse just kept messing with them. So maybe next year we can have the whole tree decorated. But for right now, they're all just kind of globbed up at the top of it. And it's just sentimental and uh, ornaments we like. It's not like the baubles or anything. We might do that the year that he lets us hang them up. Welcome back to my channel. Um, my videos have kind of been sparse lately and it's just because life has been so busy. I don't even know what's going on. Like normally we're not this busy. I guess it's because the holidays. And I'm just going to warn you when I do Vlogmas in December, which I'm going to try to do, it's going to be really busy because I've already got like 20 events through about the month of December that I want to take Jesse to. So there's going to be a lot of uh, random vlogs. <laughs> But um, that's how point of vlog misses vlogging <laughs> and um, some crochet videos thrown in there. But anyways, uh, I've been super busy. I can't remember the last time I filmed an episode. I think it was last Monday or Sunday, sometime last week. <laughs> and uh, I haven't done a lot of crocheting. I do have two finished objects and a couple whips that I'm working on. Technically, I have four finished objects because, yeah, anyways, we'll get into that later. <laughs> but, um... I've got a couple acquisitions, I've got, that's about it. <laughs> I do have some bags that I just finished today and they're in the shop now and they're on sale. They're all winter slash Christmas ones and I'll show you guys those if you're interested. And then as of filming, they're still on the shop. Um, none of them sold yet, but I just literally listed them like an hour ago. So um, if you see this a few days later, you can go ahead and head over there. The link will be below and you can check it out. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop into finished objects because like I said, I have two of them. One of them is the pattern's finished, but I still have to decorate it. Okay, my first finished object was supposed to be a uh, hat for me, but when I made it, it came out bigger than my head, and I didn't want to rip it out and redo it, so I made this Devin's hat. Um, we're going to be taking our Christmas photos for our Christmas cards this coming weekend, um, Thanksgiving weekend. And this year we're doing them um, with ugly Christmas sweaters and then I'm making us each a hat that's kind of goofy to go along with that. So um, this is the hat that I originally made for me but it was too big so now it's Devin's and let me get the pattern. It's called the Christmas Pudding Beanie by Hooked on Patterns. It's a free pattern and it comes in t like every size possible. I think it is a paid for PDF on Ravelry but if you go to their website which is like three Ravelry <laughs> you can get it for free. But this is it. And it is big on me, but it fits Devin good. And it's a Christmas pudding. I don't know how good you can see it. Ugh. There's holly berries and uh, leaves up there. And yeah, this is super cute. I love the, the image of Christmas pudding. I always have for some reason. Uh, I just think it's a cute Christmas image. So I have a bunch of random Christmas puddings. And actually, you'll see some more <laughs> in a minute. Um, I'm going to try to make some one of these days. Just because I love it so much. But this is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Coffee. I did look it up the other day. This uh, cream color is blown out because it's like I said, it's dark, so I just have a lamp. Um, this is Mainstay's beige color. I can't remember what the color is, but it's like an Aaron color. And then up here for the berries, this is uh, Holly from the Proper Pineapple. I won a, one of her giveaways, and this was a green yarn that was in there. I can't remember the name of it, and I've already thrown away or misplaced the labels. And the holly berries are red hot, I think. Red heart, super saver, red hot, or hot red, whatever it is. But yeah, it's a super cute hat. It's super quick. I made it in like one setting, I think. Um, the most annoying part was the berries, but I just hate crocheting in the round and little things. <laughs> but yeah, it's a super cute hat, and I think it's going to be cute on Devin for our Christmas photos. Uh, I'm making Jesse one. Um, his is going to be, it's called the Santa's, Santa's Helper's hat. Um, it's like a elf hat with little elf ears on it. I'm making him that one. I haven't started it yet. And then I've started mine and I'll show you that in just a minute. My next finished object is a little sweater and uh, it's really dirty because it was laying on the couch <laughs> for like a week. <laughs> but uh, it's called the Next Generation V-neck Pullover by Line Brand. It's free on their website. You do have to have a login to download it but you don't have to pay anything to do the login. It's just like a sign up thing. 
but this is in black so you're not gonna be able to see it very well the reason i made his in black is because mine and devin's ugly christmas sweaters that we picked up at a thrift store their main color is black and then they got the crazy decorations all over them so i made i couldn't find jesse one uh without having to order it and i was trying to find like I don't like ordering stuff. If you've ever watched me, you know that. I like instant gratification. So I thought I would uh, crochet him a sweater and then decorate it. So this is the sweater. It's not decorated yet. But it's cute. <laughs> it was made with Red Heart Super Saver black. And I made it with Red Heart Super Saver because he's going to have a shirt on under it. So I'm not worried about it being itchy or anything to him. And I haven't washed it yet. So it'll probably soften up a lot. But it's just a cute little toddler sweater and it's got a little v-neck <laughs> but um this was actually a really fast crochet i think i used a j-hook on it and it's made in three panel or four pieces and it's got the front panel and then the back and then the two sleeves are made in like a weird triangular shape <laughs> and then you just sew it all together and it was actually fun this is my first ever legit gar garment that i've ever made the closest thing I've ever made to another garment was uh, a circle vest, <laughs> if that counts. But, um, oop, there's a hand on there. Like I said, it's been laying on the couch for like four or five days, so it's it's got parts of all of us on it. <laughs> but yeah, Jesse, I've tried it on him. I'll pop up a picture, if I can remember, of him wearing it. It fits him. The sleeves are a little short, but I'm not too worried about it. I will, uh, like I said, he's going to be wearing a shirt under it. And um, the day that we're going to be taking the pictures, it's actually supposed to be like 60 degrees, so he's not going to be keeping it on. It's just for the photos. But yeah, um, I am planning on decorating it. It's going to be an ugly Christmas where I'm going to decorate the front and the sleeves. And I may go ahead and decorate the back too. I don't know. But um, I posted on my Facebook group asking if anyone would be interested in making appliques for it. Uh, for, you know, just to, you know, I thought it would be cool to have help from other people. And I had two people send me one. I had... Um, Sandra and she lives relatively close to me. She lives in Tennessee <laughs> and uh, also Carla. So let me show you what they I got these both in the mail. Actually, I got uh, Sandra's today and she was <laughs> so cute. She sent me the applique plus she left the ends on the feet so that I could sew them on with the same yarn and she sent me a little ball of the red yarn so that I could use it to sew it on. I thought that was really neat. But this is the one that Sandra sent me. It's Santa stuck in the chimney. And see, those are the ends so that I can sew them on. So that one's from her. And this one's from Carla. I think this is cute too. Ah, more hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shed a lot. So those are two cute little appliques I'm going to fit on his sweater. And I'm actually making one. Uh, I was going to follow a pattern, but the pattern was a um, chart. And I can't read charts that well. I can read them a little bit, but not really well. So I just went ahead and winged it myself. And it's going to be a little gingerbread house. I'm, I wanted to make a gingerbread house because I thought I could put the Santa like he's on the chimney of it. So this is just the house part of it. It's just a rectangle. And then this is the roof part of it. You know, it'll be a little gingerbread house. And I'm going to go around it in white to look like icing. And then I'm going to probably put little like um, crochet random colored circles on there to look like gumdrops or something and then the little santa can be up there <laughs> kind of on the roof getting stuck in there that was my plan <laughs> so i am in the process of working on the appliques and i also found another pattern that i want to try to do around the neck if there's enough space because this is a small sweater it looks like the little christmas lights i'm gonna try to do that around the neck and I thought about getting some like making some pom-poms and just sticking on them randomly just to make it an ugly Christmas sweater. And then after Christmas is over, I'm thinking about uh, stuffing the sleeves inside of it and closing it and like, finding a little cushion that'll fit in it and make a pillow out of it or stuff it or something. If I stuff it, I'll have to line it because as you can see, it's got all the holes in it. And uh, I'm still be cute to make like a cushion out of it or something for Christmas time because I could remember in the future all oh, that was the sweater I made Jesse when he was two but also because it has these two appliques on there that I, I can remember you know that they sent these to help me make his sweater with so I thought that would be a special thing to do so I'm gonna try to figure out to do something like that with it after photos but that is my only finished objects although I do technically have two other finished objects but they're also part of a whip so I'm just counting it as a whip I'll go ahead and show it first since that's what I'm talking about now I have, oh I just hit the microphone, sorry. I have every bit of this finished, I just haven't sewed it on. I stayed up late sewing two of them together and then I just went ahead and went to bed and I haven't got a chance to work on them today. Alright, do I have everything out? 
they are ornaments every year since last year <laughs> I started it last year I decided last year that I wanted to make my family and that's my mom my brother and his family and my sister and her family uh, a Christmas ornament for the tree and I actually did I don't think my brother watches this but <laughs> I did make him one last year. I just forgot to give it to him. It's actually on my tree this year. <laughs> but, um, so I guess I could give him both of them and Billy. This is from last year, sorry. But, um, this year I'm making little, Hattie, mm -hmm. if you're watching this, spoiler alert, <laughs> Christmas puddings. <laughs> I just love little Christmas puddings. I actually have this exact same pattern on my tree that I made last year, but I think I used a bigger hook because these seem a lot smaller than mine. But, um, these are the two complete ones. And they're made with the exact same yarn as this hat. It was the leftovers from this hat. And I used up every bit of the chocolate. Was that right? Yeah, I had a scrap ball of it. Every bit of it and every bit of this red on these holly berries <laughs> or whatever they are. But I've got these two that are complete. And then I've got two that are made and sewed together. And then I got the little pile of leaves. There's also a Frankenstein finger in there. Leaves and uh, holly berries that I just gotta sew on. And I was going to finish them last night. It's just I stayed up late working on those two. I just hit the microphone again, I think. And uh, I didn't want to stay up late. But this is a free pattern. It comes with, I think, three, two or three or four other patterns with it. And it's called the, what is it called? Christmas Ornaments <laughs> by Yum Yarns. And it's free. It's a free PDF download on Ravelry. I think they're cute though. I can't wait to give them to them. I think my sister will like them. My mom will like it because it's handmade. I don't know how my brother will feel about it. And there's actually another one that's for somebody else. But I'm not saying who because they may be watching this. <laughs> but yeah, those are living in my um, Disney villain bag that I made recently and kept for myself. <laughs> my last whip is my hat for uh, our Christmas photos. This was going to be Devin's, but when I made the Christmas pudding one big, I made the this one small and it's going to be a Christmas tree and actually I was going to follow a pattern <laughs> and the pattern was a silly Christmas tree hat by Posh Pooch Designs which is Sarah but for some reason I don't know if I was half asleep or if the pattern is messed up because I looked in the comments and no one else complained about it so it was probably my fault I could not get the count to be right um, specifically there was a row on the beginning of the green where I was supposed to I would have 52 double crochets and I needed to do three and then decrease, do three and decrease all the way around and come out with 45 and I could not get that to come out right no matter how many times I did it and I kept reading the pattern. I went to the Ravelry and looked at the comments. I went to the YouTube video because it's um, a pattern on YouTube and no comments about it so I was like okay this is me. I'm messing this up somehow so I'm just winging it so I just did it myself but it's basically the same. I don't have any of the ends woven in yet, but uh, it's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but I think it looks like an elf hat or a Hersey kiss, which actually someone on my Facebook group commented and said that, but it'll look more like a Christmas tree once I decorate it. So I'm going to put a star on the top up here and then I'm going to decorate it with like little, I'm going to buy like at the Dollar Tree, they got those little bags of pom-poms. Uh, I'm just going to like hot glue them on there because it's a personal hat, it doesn't need to be fancy. And then I'm going to get some kind of garland to wrap around it, beads or something, the beaded garland. <laughs> just make it look tacky and goofy for our photos, and I think it's going to be cute. This was super fast crochet, though, because it is, you can, you're supposed to make it with a bulky weight or two worsted weights held together, and that's what I did. So this is um, Red Heart Super Saver Hunter Green and more chocolate, because... <laughs> I used up scrap for this and those little Christmas puddings and then I had to open up a new ball for this. <laughs> but um, And I used up the, almost the whole ball of the Hunter Green for this because it was two strands and I was working from the outside and inside at the same time. And I also used it on something else. I can't remember what though. I had it out for something. I don't know. <laughs> but I used it for something else recently too. But yeah, so that's my hat. I'm almost done with it and then I just got to whip up Jessie's. Jessie's will be super fast because it's just a striped... Um, pointy hat like that and uh, little elf ears will be easy to stick on there and I want to put a big pom-pom on the end of his because he looks cute with a big pom-pom on his head <laughs> but yeah so that's all my whips that I'm working on I still have some hibernating and I'll get to them eventually <laughs> I think my mom's shawl will be done next year not this year but um, 
I didn't expect to be so busy through Halloween and now through Thanksgiving and I already know Christmas is going to be crazy. That's why these bags, as I'll show you in a minute, are going to be my last bags in my shop this year because I know I'm going to be so busy in December. I'm only actually going to make a couple more bags um, this year at all, period. I'm going to make, I've got to make two for gifts and then if I were to find a, a material that I wanted one in. But I'm for sure going to make two more sets for a gift for some people. But these are the last ones I'm making and putting in the shop. So once all my shop bags are gone, it's just going to be kind of asleep until the beginning of the next year. But anyways, uh, I will show you acquisitions. I only got one acquisition that's crochet related. I haven't been buying anything because I'm trying to use a lot of my stashed yarns. And um, I have a bunch of stitch marker stuff and all that already. So I haven't been buying any crochet stuff. I mostly, when I do buy stuff, it's mostly now for bags. Um, but this was actually gifted to me by someone. They wanted to stay anonymous. If I say that right, I usually say that wrong. Um, so I'm not going to say who they are, but she knows who she is and I know who she is. But someone gifted me more <laughs> spring green. I thought that was so cool. She said that she was just going through her stash, organizing it, and she found these and remembered that I was wanting some. And so she sent them to me. So yeah, I got two more skeins of that. And uh, the other ones that were also gifted to me is what I used to make Jesse's Grinch hat and mine and my mom's Grinch ear warmers. So now I got more. And this is awesome. I'm gonna try to save these two for next Halloween because this is the color I like for Frankenstein. This year I had to use, what's that bright one called? Glow worm and um, a darker green. <laughs> I can't remember, it was like tea, tea leaf for him so I'm gonna save these for like Halloween time next year to make because I want to make garlands and stuff so <laughs> I need a pretty green so I'm gonna at least save make sure one of these survive until next year unless I were to find more but yeah so I got two more of those that's my only acquisition that's crochet related um I did buy some lever backs but I can't remember if I mentioned that last time but they're in the box that y'all are sitting on so I can't show you but yeah so that's pretty much everything I have to talk about for my crafting this week. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to show you the bags real fast. I just literally, these are all off the sewing machine <laughs> just recently. So I'm going to show them to you guys and then you can check them out in the shop if you're interested. Okay, so all the bags that I've added to my shop are... Uh, there's been a movement in the camera because <laughs> Devin uh, was on lunch so I had to stop filming. But anyways, I'm back. Uh, this adorable print, I think it's so cute. It says like, I named it the Festive Cats. Because they're like little Christmas cats. <laughs> and it's a boxed bottom bag. Can't see it good. I'm not going to show them. And it has a Notions pouch. And the inside of the project bag and the Notion pouch are the same. They're like, it's like a Christmas sweater looking print. <laughs> Then I've got two of these owl bags. They're creased because I have them folded. <laughs> um, and they're just red on the inside and they each have their own little notions pouch which is being blown out. They're also red on the inside. And then I have two of these. I just called this the winter village because it's winter themed and it's a village. I thought this was a really pretty material. They're box bottom also. And they have no pouch. <laughs> These are like a dark blue on the inside. I thought it was a good coordinating color. And then I do have two bags of this print, but one is a sack shape. This one is, I'm about to show you. And one is a box bottom. And the only reason they're different is because I forgot to leave a turning hole when I was sewing it. If I ever have a sack shaped bag, it's because I forget to leave a, sew a turning hole when I'm sewing it. But it's this print like a winter it's not really wintry I guess it could be anything but it's a, like a woodland themed it's red on the inside and then notion pouch which is also red on the inside and then the last one I love this one but I'm a dog person <laughs> this is like a Christmas dog print super cute all kinds of dogs doing all kinds of Christmas things and it's got a notion pouch and their liners is dog bones and it's like Christmassy dog bones. Super cute. But these are all currently on the shop as I'm filming this and all these winter bags are 15% off right now. So it's like $23 plus shipping for two bags. You get the project bag and the notion pouch. Normally it's $28 and then I do have some Halloween bags and some fall bags left over and they're all 50% off. So they're like 
14 to 16 dollars depending on their size so if you're interested in any of those hop over to my Etsy shop which will be linked below and also at the end of the video it'll be on a little button thing you can click on um, and check them out and I guess that's everything for this episode so I'll see you guys next week hopefully mm, might be the week after next because I won't be doing a lot of crocheting this weekend we'll be busy uh, doing Thanksgiving things and Sunday we're going to the zoo so I'm gonna be really busy um, all weekend I won't get to crochet much I might make a video I don't know we shall see <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye